Hello and welcome. Now in this video, we are going to open an existing project. And to do that, all we're gonna do is go to the file menu. You're gonna notice that you have a control key you could use. So you could just use control and letter O, but if you didn't, what you do is you just click this link that says open project. And it's gonna go and look to your hard drive to try to find some existing Camtasia projects. Now, take note of a couple of things. Number one, you'll notice that a Camtasia project for Camtasia 9 is listed as TSCPROJ. The old standard for Camtasia is CAMPROJ. Now, if you open the old standard, what's going to happen is you are going to get the opportunity to open it into Camtasia 9, but you will not be able to reopen it in the older version. So first, let's go ahead and open this project in Camtasia 9 that is really an older version project. So we're gonna click Open, and we do that, we get this message, that this project was created in an earlier version of Camtasia Studio, and the project file has to be converted before it can be opened in the current version. And Camtasia will do all of this automatically. When you say yes, just note that you are basically saying that you are not going to reopen this project in the older version. So we're going to click yes. Now Camtasia will tell you that the project upgrade was successful. And then you click OK so that the upgraded project will now open. And then you'll notice then that it now has the new file extension, TSCPROJ. And now Camtasia will continue to open the project. But what happens automatically is that the Camtasia file will open all of the old project files. So everything you had in the media bin is now in the media bin for the new project. So it'll go and get either recording files or anything else you were using as media. We'll also have all of the edits for the older project. And so now all you would need to do is you would go and need to produce this video or do any other additional edits that you want to do. However, what we're going to do is we're going to go and find an existing project. And so we're going to close out this project. I'm going to do that by going to File. And then we're actually going to save this new project. Once we've saved, all we need to do in order to clear this timeline is to go and look for a new project. And as you know, Camtasia will then clear the entire timeline as you can see. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go and open an existing project. And we're going to get one of these projects that are actually TSCPROJ. and Camtasia will now open that project. Okay, so as you can see, it opens with a T-Rec file, which is a recording file, an audio file, and any edits that have already been done. Now, in order to clear the timeline without making any changes, all we would need to do is to go to File, click New Project. Now, Camtasia will ask us to save any changes to the current project. Because we haven't made any, we don't have to save any. So we're just going to click No. And then the timeline clears again. Now what we can also do is we can find projects that we've recently saved by going to this link. Camtasia will give you a list. We can save the current project as you've seen. We can save the current project as something new, and this can be a handy way of being able to save individual edits that you have done that you'd like to save in a different place than you have saved than the main project you're working on. The last thing we're going to look at right now are the project settings. So we're going to click this link. Now basically what this feature does is it allows us the control over the canvas at the size at which we want to operate. So currently, you'll notice that the canvas dimensions are 1920 by 1080. So what you're seeing on your screen from here to here and from this angle to that angle 
is going to be 1920 wide by 1080 tall. And so you basically have this square that you're working in, but this, the project settings, tells you the size when you open it. And we can change that if we want to. We can change that to a lower version of high definition. We can change it to standard definition. We can make it specific for the iPhone 5 or the iPhone 6. Or we can customize it. So anything that we want to do to make specific videos, we can actually do it, but we want to start the process by making sure that our canvas is open at the very beginning of the project to where we actually want it to be. Now this doesn't necessarily control how you record. What it does is it controls the editing and the workspace that you will be operating in as you do your project editing. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.